We are seeing staffing shortages across all industries right now, but CMS teachers say it is hitting them especially hard. Right now, there are 90 teacher vacancies in CMS, and some are concerned at the end of the day, it's impacting our students the most. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live at Randolph Middle School in Southeast Charlotte. Chloe, what have you heard from teachers? Fred, they're exhausted and there are way less substitute teachers working this school year, so teachers are forced to go and cover a classroom. A lot of times teaching a subject they normally don't. Review of what we did earlier. Only two months into the school year, some CMS teachers are ready for summer break. But we're already feeling like it's May and it's only October. And so it's becoming really hard to get through the day and to keep a positive attitude. This high school teacher wanted to stay anonymous, but says she has to cover another teacher's class at least once a week, pushing the bulk of her prep work to after school hours. In the past, we've always been able to have at least a good, solid sub pool to pull, to pull from when teachers have been out, but that is not the case right now. Data from CMS shows there are substantially fewer subs working in CMS right now. In the 2017-2018 school year, CMS had 2,700 subs. That number has decreased each year since, down to about 1,100 last school year during the pandemic. But so far, only 365 people are working as subs this year. Students being taught by different educators daily, leading, um, leading to a lack of consistency, stress, and poor academic performance. We are putting a band-aid on gaping wounds of trauma and stress. Teachers, custodians, and nurses say they're burnt out, but know they're not the only ones struggling. At the end of the day, no matter how much I complain, I'm going to do the best I can for the kids in my class. And ultimately, they're the ones that are suffering through this. They're the ones that are not getting what they deserve. CMS officials are trying to solve this problem. They're rolling out a new guest teacher initiative. We'll have more on that coming up at 6. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Thank you, Chloe. We'll see you at 6 o'clock. Bus drivers at CMS will soon see more money in their paychecks. Board members unanimously passed a vote to bump up their pay. Starting November 1st, the base rate will go from $15.75 an hour to $17.75 an hour. As we have been reporting, the district has been struggling to fill driver positions since the start of the school year. Right now, there are 56 driver vacancies at CMS.